Now in this part, I'm going to show you how to import in a monster model from Mixamo and have it run at the camera. This video is part of my tutorial series on how to model and texture a creepy hallway. You can also download the entire project file, including two bonus scenes where a creature jump scares the camera and a scene where the creature chases you down the hallway. Okay, let's get started. Now let's go on a website called Mixamo. You can sign up for free or use a Google account to log in. Okay, once you've logged in, you could search for different characters that you want in your animation. So I'm gonna search for monster and then we have several different options here. I'm gonna go for this option right here. I'm gonna go for this type of zombie character here. I'm just gonna go and then search for animations. We'll type in idle. We can go for happy idle. We can also choose breathing idle here. So let's use breathing idle. Go ahead and click download. Okay, it's downloaded. I also want a running animation. So let's search for running. I like the zombie running animation. So let's use this one. Okay, then come back to Blender and we'll make a new scene that's separate from this containing the monster running animation. So this scene is just gonna be empty without the monster and then we'll make a new scene by clicking over here. We will click a full copy. We'll rename to, we'll rename this to monster running scene. So now we have two scenes, one that's gonna be empty and one with the monster running. Make sure you're on the one with the monster running. Let's collapse all of these collections. Let's click over here and then right click new collection. We'll call this monster idle. Hit file, import FBX and import in your first animation with the monster breathing. And if you go into camera view, there he is. Click on the armature and we'll move him back over here. Let's say 9.5 meters at the back. We also want him to be a bit taller, so hit S and then we'll scale him one, two, like this. All right, now let's go and see what it's looking like in the rendered mode. Just turn off overlays to see it better. And if you play, he's looking pretty creepy there. But we can make it even more creepy by turning off the light at the end here. So let's click on the last light over here, the area light at the top. Let's go to the light properties here. Just turn the power down to zero and we can see what that's looking like. It's gonna be dark all the way up to frame 58. On frame 58, we'll add in a keyframe on the power. Then go two frames ahead, one, two. On frame 60, the light will turn on revealing our monster. So put the power to 10, enter, and make sure you hit this keyframe, and there you go. Now he's revealed. We can also have the light flicker by, let's say, let's go, one, two, and on frame 63, we can add in a keyframe. Then let's go one, two, turn the power down to zero, enter, and then add a keyframe. And now we have a flickering effect. Look at that. Now you can select all your keyframes here, right click, copy, and then you can paste them wherever. So I'll paste them like maybe right here, right click, paste. And so it's flickering. And you can keep pasting them and have the light flicker. On frame, let's say 198, I want the monster to start running at the camera. So we need to replace this monster with the running animation. To do that, we first will go into solid mode. Let's turn back on overlays. Let's select our armature. And let's say on frame, let's say on frame 199, this armature is gonna be out of the scene. So we'll just move it out the scene. So let's go back to frame 198 add a keyframe on the X location, and then on frame 199, we'll just move them outside the frame, add keyframe. And so now, so after frame 198, he's gone out the frame and we will replace it with the new monster. So let's go back to frame one, let's do file. Actually first, let's go to our scene collection, right click, new scene. We'll call this monster running, enter. Then go to file, import, FBX and import in your running monster. There he is, click on the armature, 
hit S, scale them up, one, two, maybe three, okay? And we want this animation to be at the end. So select all these keyframes here and move them all the way to the end. We also want it to start a little back. So let's actually move them back over here. So let's move them to the side for a second. So minus four. And so right as this armature disappears, so on frame 199, the new armature will appear. So let's click on our running animation right here. Let's add in a keyframe on the X location. And let's go one frame ahead to 200 and he will appear by changing the X location to zero. Add keyframe. Okay, so you see what I did there. So uh, the old animation is gone and then the new animation appears. And this will be masked by the shadows so you won't see the transition. Oh, you kind of do. Okay, we gotta move him further back. Yeah, we, we actually gotta move him further back. So let's move him further back into the shadows. It starts with our first monster right here. And then he's gone and boom, our new one appears. If you want, you can actually have the creature start a little more ahead instead of being all the way back there. So it gets to the camera a little faster. So we can just change the location to, you know, somewhere closer like right here. So when it appears, it gets to the camera a lot closer. But we want to make sure when it appears, the lights are turned off here so it can mask the transition. So you want to select the lights here and, you know, just turn off the power. So, you know, turn these to zero, even the top lights as well. So now he's more masked into the shadows. So, boom, he appears. If you want to add some camera shake, uh, the way I did that was, it was pretty random. I just selected the camera here and I selected the frame where, you know, he appears. So right here. So maybe a little bit ahead, like 210 to 11. And then I selected the camera and then I hit I on the rotation. And then I think I went three frames ahead, one, two, three. And then I just hit shift and then this button to control the camera. Then I moved the camera like right here added a keyframe on the rotation and then one, two, three, maybe four. I'll move the camera right here. I one, two, three, four, or let's go three. I maybe like one, two, three. I Maybe something like this. It was just completely random. You also probably want to have the character stop moving as soon as he starts shaking the camera. So like right here, this last keyframe here, you probably want to bring it over here. So he stops. So this keyframe that I brought over here controlled the location and then I can go to the end and maybe have him back up a little. Maybe go down to the side. I, I on the location rotation. So like he gets startled, boom, and then the zombie gets him. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> I encourage you all to play around with it. Oh, one more thing. You can also go ahead and search for free assets on Blender Kit, like a fire extinguisher. To, uh, just check mark free. And then you can use, I used this. So I just dragged it into the scene and I put it on the wall like this. You can also search for like paintings as well. Grab this and you know, just drag and drop it into your scene. And there it's on the wall. Okay, but that does it for this entire tutorial series. Hopefully you all found this helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you see more tutorials like this from me in the future. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to check out my Patreon where you can get access to all my past and future tutorial files as well as some exclusive perks. So consider checking that out and supporting me over there as well. 
Until next time, it's been your boy, only RJ. Peace.